Welcome back. Staying out of the heat is easier said than done, especially for people who have to work in it. So how do these people stay safe and healthy under record heat? Yeah, a tough job. And News for Tucson's reporter Christiana Ramos spoke with firefighters in southern Arizona, and she's live from a fire department in Midtown to explain how they keep cool. Christiana. I just need one second here. Let me take a drink. That is some good H2O and local firefighters here at Tucson Fire Department and Northwest Fire District say hydration is key, especially for those people who have to be stuck out in this heat. Now, the temperature right now, it's currently 111 degrees. That's according to my phone app. We'll have a better uh, number for with Matt Brody later on. Uh, not unusual for the desert southwest, but when we've broken numerous records in Tucson this summer and hit our 40th straight day of triple digit temperatures, he can really burn you out. Local fire departments say they respond to heat related illness calls weekly and they have to respond regardless of how hot the temperatures are or dangerous the situation is. We spoke to Northwest Fire District and Tucson Fire Department about ways they protect themselves during heat waves. A gallon of water a day um, and then we exercise in the heat as well, try to. Part of our protocols is to go to rehab. And that's where we actually sit down, we take all of our turnouts off, we try to get ourselves cooled down as quickly as possible. And we actually have to be medically checked out by our paramedics on scene to make sure that our pulse, our blood pressure, all of our vital signs get back into an acceptable range before we're released to go back. Of course, listening to your body is key. Dizziness, headaches, and nausea, those are among some signs of heat-related illness and that you're experiencing heat-related illness. But the sun and those brutal temperatures, it has more danger. So later on, coming up at 6, we're going to talk to Banner Burn Experts. But I do want to give you an exact temperature of where I'm at right now in Midtown. So I want to toss it over to Chief Meteorologist Matt Brode. How hot is it? Because 